From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your Valley Neighborhood Forecast. Everything Medical has been your complete source for medical supplies since 2007. Our 10,000 square foot showroom has the largest selection of home medical equipment in the North State. We have what you need. Everything Medical, Athens Avenue, Reading. You know, it's getting pretty hot here, even in the studio. I've got an air conditioning vent over here, and right before it comes over to me, I'm standing over here, and I can feel the air conditioning blowing on my face right now. It's so nice. So nice. Yeah, it's hot in the valley. I mean, we saw temperatures quite warm. The first significant heat, heat wave has certainly arrived. We got a possible tide or even broken record on Saturday, especially in the Redding area. But temperatures will be dropping next week, but should stay above normal for this time of the year. Take a look at the high temperatures we did see. 108 for Redding, 105 for Red Bluff, Chico, a high of 100 degrees. They're going to see Alturas about 90. So, of course, the Eastern Mountain is only reaching somewhere in the low 90s, but Weaverville, 102, 99 for Hay Fork. Ah, and much cooler out on the coast with temperatures around 60 degrees. We still have that excessive heat warning in effect through Sunday for the valley with highs between 100 and 110 degrees. Let's take a look at those record highs compared to the forecast highs. So for your Saturday, the record is actually 111 degrees set in 2013. The forecast high is for 110. Some of the forecast models have been bringing up to 100, 111, even 112. So it's not out of the question for us to maybe at least tie the record, maybe even break it. But for now, I've got it at 110 for Saturday. Now on Sunday, the record is 116. I don't think we're going to come anywhere near that, even though we're going to see a high of 109 degrees. And then on Monday, I don't think we're going to come anywhere in 114 either, because the temperatures do start to drop going into Monday of next week with a high of about 105 degrees. So going into tonight, it's not cooling off a whole lot, only dropping down into the low 70s in the valley. There's that 110 for both Redding and Red Bluff. Chico, about 108. Quite honestly, it may not be quite that hot in Chico. The temperatures will start to drop slightly. High pressure is the dominant feature, and that is going to stick around here through the weekend with above normal highs, especially to our north. That's the next 6 to 10 days. But look what happens as we go into the next 8 to 14 days. We're actually getting in the near normal. So the normal high in the valley is about 96 to 97, maybe even 98. So if we're near normal, it's probably still going to be about 100 degrees. All right, so here's your forecast for your Saturday, 107 Pascento, 108 Chico, 106 degrees for Gridley. There's your seven-day forecast for Chico. It does drop back down to the lower 100s by next Monday and Tuesday, if that's even a term, right? Low 100s. Uh, 109 for the city of Shasta Lake and Redding, uh, 109 uh, for Anderson. Actually, it's more like 110 for Redding, by the way. Uh, 109 for Palisadro and 110 degrees for Red Bluff. So let's take a look at that seven-day forecast for Redding. There's that 110 degrees for Saturday. 109 on Sunday and temperatures about 105 for Monday and Tuesday, slowly dropping after that in the mid to upper 90s by Thursday and Friday.